So we are going to investigate together. Please bear in mind all this together. Not only the nature of religion, but also inquire into the computer. You know what the computer is? Don't you? Yes. It's a machine. It can program itself. It can bring about its own computer. The father computer has its own son computer who is better than the father. You understand all that? No, you don't have to accept this. It's public. It's not something secret. So watch it carefully. That computer can do almost anything that man can do. It can invent all your gods, all your theories, your rituals. It will be better at it than you will ever be. So the computer is coming up in the world, not only in the factories, but also it's going to make your brains something different, which is – you've heard of genet uh, en genetic engineering? Oh, God, don't you hear all these things? Huh? They are trying to whether you like it or not, to change your whole behaviour. That's genetic engineer. They are trying to change your way of thinking. Genetic engineering and the computer, right? When the two meet together, they are going to presently, years, what are you? You understand what I'm asking? So what are you as a human being? What are you? Your brains are going to be altered. Your way of behaviour is going to be changed. Right? You are. They may all together remove fear, remove sorrow. Remove all your gods. <coughs> and they're going to say, don't fool yourself. Because it all ends up either in war or in death. Right? So this is what is happening in the world actually. Genetic engineering on one side and computer on the other. And when they meet, as they are inevitably going to meet, what is your, what are you as a human being? Actually, your brain. This is a computer chip designed to emulate how the human brain thinks, which IBM successfully developed and revealed to the world. In the future, wearing a similar device, you might be able to access the unlimited knowledge of the Internet directly into your brain. In the future, with a combination of robotic enhancements and genetic engineering, you might have a perfect body. There's room to debate precisely when this will happen, but such a world is coming. Cyborg Revolution the technocratic solution to a brave new world fixated on truncating humanity's relevance, 
whatever little amount which may still remain, in an existential relating towards his already fragile existence. Never appeased, this manifesto is the juggernaut. Its properties absolute contain a disgust for man as he is, a thing to be incessantly improved upon, albeit only horizontally speaking. Woman and man alike exist as a disgusting assemblage of biology. The technologists must make them beautiful. They must be turned into a machine. The pathways are laid out and the signs point to a place called salvation. One need only accept the conditions and deny all latitude. Distrust all other nations. An empire's foundation is the public mindset. If it's not you, it's them. Create antagonistic logic that is maleficent, and all other aims can be achieved. Encourage competition of all varieties within each nation to produce separatist factions. Race and religion manufacture coalitions of enmity towards difference, and the frame of division is whittled down further with additional invisible lines of state and province. Dissension would not have its intensive effect if it did not tie the biology with a geographical image. My area? your area. To only be aware of a difference is not the completion of the package deal towards redemption. You are admonished to be passionate and fertilize anathema, to pitch fever if necessary. Remember, this savior is personal. No machine can be complete without finishing its circuit. Lest it be forgotten that the right community is chosen, and to expunge any variations that are not in the common interest. A culmination of each element thus far forms the very basis of the family unit, which is the introduction of the individual into a collective. The struggle for acceptance of the child from the authoritative parent, and the indoctrinations of parent towards child, is principle absolute. One must always concede to the other. Concessions in quantity define the reciprocity of that pinnacle consummation of man, love. Surrender and you shall be loved. Rebel and become the pariah. All aspects have now been rejected, including one's actuality, with a consistent yielding towards commandment. None shall feel self-worth, as this comes from elsewhere. Satisfaction can never be attained through countenance, since there is always more to be acquired. Woman and man will never be enough. They must become a machine. The salvation is imminent, and nature is the sacrifice. No more signs need to be read. The details are now in the devil. Genetic engineering and the computer, right? When the two meet together, they're going to presently, years, what are you? You understand what I'm asking? What are you as a human being? <laughs>